Hello to everyone from Texas. It's Grandpa Hickory. We've been having lots of storms here in Texas. And uh, I was out walking this morning and then I went foraging for dandelions. And uh, I was trying to hurry. I kind of had to cut a lot of my walking sideways that I do, my regimen, because I had to get way out in this field by the woods to where that I could collect these uh, uh, dandelions. And uh, that's what I was doing, was uh, foraging for dandelions after I go walking. Uh, when I walk, I look for dandelions, and then I make a mental note, and I go out there when I finish, and I, I go out there with my scissors, my garden scissors, and I cut the flowers, and I come back, and I make me a good cup of dandelion tea. And I love it. It's extremely good for you. It... Uh, Helps the liver and everything. You, you ought to Google the benefits of eating, uh, uh, drinking uh, dandelion tea, flower tea. Well, anyway, I wanted to talk to you about something. Uh, I heard somebody on the radio this morning talking about uh, murderers and things, and they were talking about O.J. Simpson had died April the 10th of this month, which is 2024. And, you know, I couldn't help but think, you know, what does a man do when they commit murder? I mean, have, have you ever thought about that? Have you ever, uh, has it ever crossed your mind? I mean, you know, I mean, what does anybody think? Here's my little friend here. He, he come over here. He heard me talking. He wanted to get in on the picture. He's my little darling. He's my baby boy. Yes, he is. It's my little Tarzan. He's a good boy. Oh, yes, he is. He's a good boy. Let Daddy talk, darling. But has it ever crossed your mind, you know, I mean, how a person could actually murder someone and then try to cover it up? Don't, 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 baby. Don't, don't rub on the tripod, darling. That's a good boy. Thank you. Daddy loves you. But, any anyway, road, um, people that actually do these things, I mean, what would a person get away with? Don't get away with anything. Don't get away with anything at all. I heard some people crying. They were talking on the radio about uh, somebody had called in or something. I don't know what it was. But they said that a 74-year-old woman living in a senior citizen community, uh, this black man has been seen coming around, and uh, he comes sneaking down the road, and he sneaks up the side. They got like a fence out front, and he watches the women go in and out. And these are senior citizen women. And that's the way murder is all. You know, they strike people that are helpless, and uh, they won't stand up to a man. They won't do that. But any road, they look for helpless victims. But any road, um, this man w snuck in there and knocked on the door. And you know, he went in there and horribly did things to that woman. I mean, it was absolutely horrible. No, no, baby. No, no, now. No, no. It was horrible what he did to that woman. I mean, it was horrible. And then when he had finished with her and everything, he shot her I don't know how many times. You're talking a 74-year-old unarmed woman. But why did she answer that door? Who in their right mind would answer a door at 3 o'clock in the morning? You know, you, you can't reason with a murderer. You, you can't do it. Well, he went running for the jungle after he shot her several times. He ran out the door, and he took off running for the jungle. Like I said, they were talking about O.J. Simpson this morning on the radio. And I thought to myself, that question, what happens to a man when he commits murder? We all got to give an account to God. No man can keep alive his own soul. I mean, people, it's sad 
when you look at the shapes of things that are going on in our hour that we're living in. Listen to Grandpa Hickory. Please hit the like button and I'm inviting you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you on the next video. But I just had to ask that question. What happens to a man when he commits murder? It is so very tragic for everyone involved. Well, hey, you have a good day and y'all stay safe. They're predicting storms with tornadoes and extreme hail here in Texas. And I've been listening to weather report and everything. I came in, I got soaking wet and uh, I was out foraging for dandelions. I got quite a few and I've made some good, good dandelion tea. Well, listen, you have a good day. Thank you now. Bye-bye.